Thursday, or I guess since you're probably watching this on Friday or another day, happy other day. Today's Thursday. It's going to be a good day. No idea what's in the plans yet. It's a little chilly this morning, only minus five. So hopefully that'll change. It's supposed to get up to plus 20 this weekend or uh, the beginning of next week. So it's going to feel like summer here in Manitoba. It's about time. It's about time. I'm, I am welcoming it with open arms. Is the sun rising later than usual or what? I know we had daylight savings time, but I thought it's usually up by now. Time to get trucking. She's already all warmed up over there, so we're just waiting for our first instructions. assignment for the day. We're all hooked up here. You want to see what's inside? Wood. Lots of wood. Oh, it's not that heavy. It's only 34, just under, yeah, just over 34,000 pounds of wood. I thought it looked a lot heavier than that. I thought we had close to 50,000 in there. Not according to this. And the day has officially begun. We're on the road.
they had a curb between our lane and their lane. Well, they got it up here again too. I think that's that's great. I don't have any problem with that. I, I just don't like it when they put the cyclists right in the same lane as me. Because I find that to be very dangerous. So we're just coming up to Confusion Corner here. Yay. I won't even try to explain it because it's confusing. If you're not familiar with it, you should probably sit down and look at a map. Look at Google Maps or something. I got my little GPS going there. Oops, she thought I was talking to her. <laughs> side of the river. I'm trying to get there before we get to those big buildings. I'd rather not go there. Oh, here's the cops. Everybody smile. Just taking your picture. Alright, this is going to be a tight corner. We'll be okay. It's not as tight as I thought it was. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem.
so what I'm doing right now is making sure that it's locked to the front. There's two hooks that I'll show you here that lock onto the, the sides and suck it in. So if you go on this side, I already checked this side, that hook there and that hook there. That's controlled by that little lever, the shrangle on the side of the trailer there. And that's hooked in there. That's hooked in there. You just have to make sure they're properly latched on. That'll hold this whole unit to the front. Now I gotta go uh, create the tension or pull it to the back with the levers back there. And together with these triangles and those triangles back there, this whole thing stays nice and tight. That's why they call it a roll tight. So we'll make our way to the back here. And you see these sides are still loose and floppy. You don't want that. So you can roll this back up if you want it out of the way, but you don't need to. You can just go inside it like this and let it rest behind you. And then you take this triangle right here. And you put it onto this here. See, there's one here. And there's also the same thing over there. You'll see what it does is it screws this and pushes this against that, pulling the whole trailer back and pulling it tight. Remember, we latched it at the front. Now we're gonna pull it tight at the back. Watch this little thing here, see? I'll put you here so you can see the, the walls here. You see how they're still floppy there, eh? That's not good, you don't want that flapping around in the wind. So what I'm going to do, I'm take the shrangle here, Like this and what that does here see as that turns it pushes this forward and pulls it tight and you want to do a little bit on this side and then you want to go and do a little bit on this side as well I can get it in a so you can see it right I want you to see what I'm doing okay Take that over here it is easier if you roll up this curtain in the back I I should have done that you can get it done without it okay and then same thing here this one likes to whine a little bit don't worry you're not hurting it It's just whiny, that's all. It doesn't hurt. And then you wanna keep doing that to both sides until those wheels in there touch this bar here. And that makes it tight. You see now, it's tight. This roller is against this pin here. That's as tight as it can get. You look at the side of the trailer. Good tension all the way down the trailer. You don't want it to be rock hard, like you don't want to rip it, but nice and tense like that. Tension, tension, tense. Good tension like that is what you want. And we just gotta do up this back curtain here. We'll be on our way. And we're all buttoned up, ready to go. Load is tied down inside there. Remember, this canvas here does not provide any load securement. Don't depend on that to secure your load. All right, I've seen it on YouTube. If you can imagine it, someone has probably done it. So you don't wanna do that. You have to tie it down inside there. That's only just to cover it from the elements. All right. Got the paperwork here. This load is headed to Holland, Ohio. I've got one more pickup to put on here yet. Another 16 foot piece. It's that next piece is going to Merrill, Wisconsin.
So that's what I mean. It can be a little more difficult to open some of these sometimes. It's coming up there on that side with another one. Is he gonna put that one on top? Oh wow. I would have thought that he would have loaded them both at the same time then, but maybe this is a maybe this way is better. I mean, they do this every day. Uh, so you gotta line up all the posts. Oh, it's probably yeah, it's probably too sketchy to do it uh, both at the same time because the top one might shift then. I get it. I get it. We're trying to get it snugged up as close as we can to this stuff there. I'm gonna go over here and stay out of the way. Got another nice car here. Being hauled somewhere. Look at that. Black on black. If I ever come into a lot of money, I will have a car identical to this. Corvette black on black. That is my dream car right there. Exactly. We're hauling it somewhere for someone. If I play my cards right and be smart, I will have one of those one day. Exactly that. Except it might be a newer model. This looks like a brand new Corvette now. By the time I can afford one, you know, it might be like 5, 10, 15 years down the road. <laughs> but you get what I mean, right? It's like my pickup. I like black on black. And I like Chevy. Man, that's a nice car. drooling a bit here so the mobile wash guys I went to go talk to them uh, they're here to wash trailers today they're just finishing up they got as many done as they could in the, the time they had I guess uh, and I asked if they would be here regularly and they didn't know I sure like it that they've got them in here though keeping our trucks clean I know it's uh, becoming probably becoming a meme already I was just talking about cleaning the trucks again I'm kind of obsessed with clean vehicles a little bit. I mean, the inside I'm not always so picky about because it's hard to keep the inside of your vehicle clean. I would prefer it to be clean, but the outside, I mean, that's the first impression everyone has. And you know, like this truck, I would love it to be shining. I'd love to be driving a show truck because that's what a lot of people are seeing, right? But, you know, sometimes you gotta take yourself down a notch out of the fantasy world and uh, remember that you're living in the real world and just be thankful for what you got. And this is a good truck. Yeah, she got a little rust on her. Whatever. She's, she's a good truck. I'm thankful. You know, they could have put me in like a little Volvo day cab. That would have been awful. <laughs> Alright. Gotta drop this off in the garbage bin on the way. That's that. Why am I going to this side? I have never done that. I was gonna get into the driver's seat on the passenger side. What was I thinking? What am I in Britain? No, this is Canada. We drive on this side. Put the seatbelt on so I don't fall out. So do you know why? The United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand are sister nations of the Commonwealth. All drive on the left side of the road. Do you know why? It's because back in the day, when we were on horseback, our right hand would be our dominant hand. It was sort of enforced back in the day. Even as late as my dad in school, he was left-handed when he was born. But in school, they forced him to be right-handed because that was the right hand to use. 
Fun fact, my sister is now left-handed, so that ended in this generation. But anyways, <laughs> everyone was right-handed, right? So your right hand would be your sword hand. So you would be on the left side of the road with your enemies coming at you or other people coming at you on your right-hand side. And if they were to attack you, you would be able to grab your sword with your right hand and defend yourself because everyone was on this side. Do you think that's true? I, I have no idea. I heard it somewhere on the internet, so obviously it must be true. But yeah, we, uh, we're the only uh, nation out of our four nations that uh, drive on this side. And I'm pretty sure that's because we share a continent with America. And America has to do everything different. They have to do everything America. And they don't want to be anything like the UK. <laughs> So if the UK is going to drive on the left side of the road, America is going to drive on the right side of the road just to be different. And uh, we're just following them because it would just cause way too much confusion having to switch sides every time we cross the border. I think that's, I think that's why anyways. <laughs> Any hoodle. Man, I had to use my, uh, my heat on the way into work this morning and now I have to use my air conditioning. I still got that garbage bag on the back of my truck there. Don't let me forget. I don't know why I buckled myself in already. I'm just driving across the yard to the garbage can. But you never know. You never know what could happen on the way there. Check out this load. That looks fun. As far as I know, we only got one of these low boy trailers. I don't even know if it's ours. Like, It's in the yard all the time, so I assume it's ours. But someone's going to have a fun time pulling that somewhere. Wish it was me. That looks pretty cool. I gotta go back and get my broom. Very important. I wanna bring my broom home because I wanna uh, <laughs> sweep the driveway eventually. I'm gonna get it done yet. Tomorrow morning we're having our air conditioner installed already. So I won't be here first thing in the morning. Uh, I'll probably be coming here in the afternoon once they're done. I'm gonna give them a call later on in the day and see how, how it's looking. It's looking pretty slow tomorrow, they said, so I took the, the first half of the day to go and, uh, well, I wanted to be at home when they install the air conditioner. Someone has to be there to let them in, and Britt's gonna be there for the first part of the day, but I don't know how long it's gonna take, and, and someone's gotta help her watch the dogs. It'll just be easier if I'm there with her. Where's my broom? I'll have a little bit of time. There we go. All right, Diesel. You ready for this, Chevy? Oh, oh, oh. and it needs a good cleaning. Mm -hmm. The menu today: burgers, cheddar, and bacon. Burgers. <laughs> yes. So these are burgers that we get from Sobeys grocery store uh, locally here. I call them the brain burgers. These ones already have cheddar and bacon bits inside it. We saw some up later. Chevy, what do you think? Wait, so that's a big burger. Don't try to get me to give you my burgers. Not gonna work. Okay, I gotta make mine. Mm. Oh my. Oh my. I'm excited. I see the cheese in there now, I think. 